Moving forward, I'd like to take a few moments to talk about FSTAB, or the actual file system table that is used by Linux to determine file systems, how they're mounted, and which are available for mounting by various users of the system. Now this is basically a text file that is in the etcfs tab location. Now this actually contains some pretty extensive information. There are a total of six columns that dictate the existing configuration for available file systems. The first column is the device column which actually allows us to show where the device file lives. In addition, we have a mount point. Now, as you may or may not know, devices basically exist as files. In addition, in order for those files to be functional, they have to be mounted. Well, this is that link between the device file and the mount point. So this will actually show us where we can access those particular devices through their associated files. Now, if there's available file systems, those file systems will be listed for us out in the file system type column. In addition, we have an options column that will allow us to choose various read-write, read-only, auto, depending on the circumstance that the file system is loaded under. So there's a couple of different options available for you here. They also mention our dump type in case of file system dumps and also the file system check order. So let's take a few moments and jump into our Linux operating system and see what we can find. So right off the bat, let's just take a look at our FSTAB file. Now as you can see here, we've got our various columns. In this example, we can see the actual device itself and where it's been mounted. For example, CD-ROM has been mounted under MNT CD-ROM. And if we want to verify that that's present, then we can simply change directories and see if it's located there. And as you can see, CD-ROM, Floppy, and HGFS have all been mounted into the MNT directory. Now, if we want to, we can actually take a look as well at any existing mounts that have already taken place for us. So if we want to do that, we can simply take a look at a couple of different locations, and we'll take a look at both. In this example, it actually breaks everything down for us and shows us where those individual files have been mounted, how they were mounted, and any available options. So this is basically a similar breakdown to what we've seen in the FS tab file. We can also take a look at the M tab, and you can see an example there which is very similar to the output provided by the cat proc mounts command. 